What is up, obscure Mike people? Today, as if you didn't know from the clip art, I've got a podcast production device. Kind of in the mode of a roadcaster, sort of. Uh, do you remember the Donner? I can't remember what it was called, PC07. I don't remember. I don't remember what it was called. It was an epic fail. It was like aspirational. The price was too high. Uh, by aspirational, I mean like, you know, it looked like it could be good in a version two, maybe. Anyways, A-Labs. You guys have seen A-Labs on this channel with the wireless condenser microphone. They've sent over the FX Caster podcast workstation and it, it looks, you know, it looks like a hybrid of the Rodecaster and that Donner device. $199 is what this thing is going to cost. It looks pretty cool. But is it? But is it? Let's take a look at it. Let's unbox it. Let's hook it up. Let's see what it can do. I haven't done that yet. I, I, I've read the manual, but I haven't done anything. So... I kind of like the first impression style videos like, oh, well, first impression is this. Yeah, maybe you should work with it more, but we get a general idea if something's going to work with us or not. Currently, I'm on the SM7DB in bypass mode, no preamp, using the Yamaha AG06 Mark II. And this is what it is sounding like running through the AG06 Mark II. Let's see what happens with this. All right, here's the box. Let's dig in. Got a little A-Labs manual here. Kind of thick, sort of thick, not super thick. That's what she said. Woo! Then we've got the A-Caster, A-Caster, A-Labs FX Caster in all its glory. So we've got a little layover here on top of the FX caster. How's that come off? I don't even know. I'm probably going to end up just ripping it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So you take that out. You got a little cardboard sheath thingy over top of everything. That's like an actual half box. Half box, half box. It's an M&M &M coming at you. Uh, okay, so here's the A-Labs FX caster. First impression, um, it is plastic. It is fairly lightweight. Doesn't feel particularly fantastic, but it feels good enough. And let's be honest with ourselves, the Roadcaster series, uh, there's a lot of plastic involved there too. Uh, we've got bass, mid, and treble EQ. We've got the auto tune. I did that without even being plugged in. Yes, you're welcome. I, I know I'm, I'm magical. We got levels, meters, uh, battery power, Bluetooth. We've got a uh, reverb and delay, auto tune, loop back, vocal effects, uh, robot, male, female, and doll. This is going to be freaking great. Volume shaper, denoise, karaoke. Not sure what the heck that's all about. We've got faders. They've got a unity spot there that clicks in. Those feel okay. The knobs feel pretty cheap, but we've got mute buttons, individual mute buttons. That's cool. And solo buttons, which is, I assume, ducking. Record, stop, 48 volts phantom power, some pads, some trash talk, and uh, ABC power bank stuff. Heck if I know. Uh, then on the back, we've got a couple of combo jacks here, two XLR combo jacks, headphone, aux in, pod out, one, two, and three, a SD card. Yes, that is for recording directly to SD. It doesn't pop in. It kind of sticks out just a little, if you can see that there. So it doesn't like snap in or anything. It's just kind of there. Uh, we've got a USB-C port and a couple of outputs and an on-off switch. Oh, I turned that on. We've got we, we've got power. Power. See, I don't even have to plug it in. That's kind of cool. And it charges through the USB-C, also kind of cool. You know, these, these devices do have their ups and downs and stuff. Let's uh, 
Let's plug it up, see what it does with the SM7B, and we'll go through some stuff as well. Well, actually, real quick, just so we know, we got some stuff. So we've got TRRS to TRRS, uh, TRS to TRS. So we've got, you know, two line, three line cable. And then I'm um, pretty sure this is going to be the USB A to C to connect everything up. Not even sure we're going to need to use that. I don't know. We'll figure out what we're going to do. <laughs> Okay, so I have the SM7DB plugged into the FX caster from A Labs. Got our overhead camera pointed right at it. And I'm sure you know there's a reason why I'm leading into this so slowly. Problem number one, right off the rip. Really hoped it didn't have this problem, but it does. We've got the echoey reverby headphone preamp, not latency free, upsetting, really upsetting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can plug it into any of the other outs and see if I get anything. Not going to happen. The outputs for the pod part are TRRS outputs. So we've got the non latency free echoey reverb thing going on. Uh, problem number two. So here's the FX caster. I always go into this with a glass half full approach. Like I, I see the auto tune, I see the voice changer and I'm like, man, there's a better chance than not that this thing is a rebadged or rebranded, you know, same internals as what that Donner had or something along those lines. And it may sound good to you, but again, in my headphones, it is junk. It just doesn't, it sounds awful. Like because there's latency and because I sound robotic without ever diving into the robot male, female stuff, the device looks pretty good. I, I actually really like the way it looks. I love faders. I love mixers. I love consoles, but it's, ah, 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 ah. all right. So anyways. Let's get through some stuff. First things first, SM7 dB in passive mode, no preamp involved. It's not going to cut it. It didn't cut it. It didn't push it. It, I was reading like negative 25 on my readout, just not, not going to cut it. So we had to turn the mic booster on and we've got two separate levels of mic booster on this thing. And I had to turn it up to the more powerful switch we're not doing well so far out of the gate not doing well at all i digress oh let's play around with it a little bit that's what she said all right so i i mean i'm i'm gonna go ahead and tell you a third strike on this device which i'm gonna hit record on right now and when it's flashing it's recording recording to sd card Strike number three is that it only records in MP3. Three strikes out of the box. I, again, try to be glass half full with these devices. And I'll admit, like, I, I don't really fall for, like, the ones on Amazon that have just knobs, no faders, and it isn't big and robust looking like this. Like, I've turned a few of those down because we, we know what they're going to be. They're sound cards, basically. This is essentially also a sound card, just in a bigger, nicer, more enticing form. But it does have XLRs. You know, it does have all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, it is very sound cardish. Shit, man. I just, I hate to bash on something. And, but $199, you can get the Yamaha AG06 for $199. I think it's actually two something, but I grabbed mine for one ninety nine on Sweetwater, and yeah, we we've got mute buttons, reverb, compression, EQ, ins, outs, good build quality, drives the SM seven B no problem, USB C, two USB C ports, one for power, one for computer or or phone connection. Uh, so I mean, this for the same price as. The FX caster, not a question which one I'd choose. Not a single question at all. Let's dive in a little bit. 
uh, we are recording. I don't know why you can stop it. Uh, 48 volts fan power. Like I said, I've got this on unity with the higher gain boost on, and that's given me the negative 15, negative 12 DB I desire. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that. Ooh. Let's do that in a vocal effects voice. Oh, is it not going to work? Denoise is off. So the denoise was on by default. And, and and for all intents and purposes, the denoise works really well. It's not really cutting off any words or anything like that. Does a good job. Turned off. There's not a bunch of silly levels to it. It's just a simple one-click denoise. And that, that does work really well. So, so what are we, three to one right now? That works okay. Okay, so you got to hold the button down. Mail. It's a mail voice. Mailman, I got your packages. <laughs> Literally. Ooh, yeah. Oh, bring those packages right in, Mr. Mailman. <laughs> oh, my, what's the mailman doing with my mom? All right, I'm done with that crap karaoke don't know what karaoke is uh karaoke seems to give it some processing turn that off and it gets a little less yeah yeah a little maybe a little compression a little processing on karaoke i didn't see in the manual where it said what karaoke mode did loop back if we want to run stuff in from the computer denoise i'm going to keep on because i think it works well uh reverb i'm guessing we got to press down and hold it so we got a room reverb a hall reverb a church reverb that church reverb works okay. Listen, I uh, auto tuning, hold down. Auto tune, auto tune, auto tune, auto tune. I'm not going through them all. Well, we got sam sampler wise. I think you got to press and record. This thing is a piece of crap, a piece of crap, a piece of crap. This thing is a piece of crap. There's a little light. Hissing, humming when you use the recorded pads. What's trash talk? What the heck is that? What in the world? Oh, okay. So A, B, and C are different sound banks. You can program all these three times. Whatever, man. I don't know. The sample you can. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you can do. Listen, uh, this is this is pretty basic. Let's go through the mute. Which works well. Mute switch works well. Okay. So bass, I can I can crank the bass up here, mid, treble, all that stuff. I'm not gonna waste much of your time. I don't feel like it's worth wasting much of your time. This has weak preamps, latency in the headphones, MP3 to SD card. Nothing else on this thing is listen it it's it's a big old sound card like these pod outputs and it, this is the same thing that's on the mayono that's on the five fine or not the five fine five fine hasn't really made anything this bad i don't think but it, mayono and what what other sound cards f deuce this is not really a step above those except for the fact that you can record mp3 recordings i'm sorry a labs i know this is not glowing this is not what you want to hear but this is not a 199 dollar device it's just not if you had a clean headphone out and maybe two headphone jacks since we got two ports and it's supposed to be for podcasting we got one headphone jack what's that all about like what what's what's the other person on the podcast gonna do we'd need a trrs uh to trs adapter for headphones we're, we're we're already in a, a bit of a mess here uh the mp3 recording i guess if all you're doing is a podcast not a huge deal if you're not going to edit it if you're just going to record it and put it out there but again we're limited with that as well where the the whole machine essentially is limited it has what looks like potential like the donner but there is not really any potential here. I don't know, man. Like this, this in the 
other sound card devices, there's just not a big enough gap to justify 199 bucks. You're paying 199 bucks for the looks. That's about it. They may never send me anything again, and that's fine. You guys need to hear this. This is not professional grade audio equipment. This is limited. Whereas I used to have trucks passing by, I now have a cow giving birth somewhere outside that I can hear. It's a little crazy. I'm very disappointed. I, I'm I'm just kind of sad. I don't want to, I'm not even going to go through all this. I'm just going to talk about it. It's a pretty machine. It's a pretty hate machine because I hates it. And it's, uh, you know, it gives me a hole in the head, like a head, like a hole. I feel like I'm just down in it. You know, I'd like to rise above it. I feel like this machine's just a terrible lie. And when I saw it, I was like, kind of, I want to, but me being sanctified, that's what I get. That's what I get. That's what I get. That all went over your head. I apologize. Okay. So when I get quiet, I notice that the denoiser starts to cut off my words. We'll go ahead and turn the denoiser off. I don't need this overhead camera. We're good. We're good now. We're, we're done here. Okay. So on the BB SAR, <laughs> shoot, man, it's a two. It's bordering on awful. Uh, it, it, if it had a stronger preamp, that might bump it to a three. If it had, uh, you know, wave and if it had wave recording to SD card might bump it up to a four, but then, you know, your, your, the latency in the headphones is, is the big, big, big issue that and the preamp, it's a sound card disguised as a sound card disguised as another sound card, robot voice and all. That's all I got folks. I was excited about this one. Uh, but instead I get to burn another bridge in the relationship that is audio company creator burning bridges. It does have mute switches that kept it from being a one. It's got Bluetooth, but whatever. Okie dokie. Uh, I don't suggest this one by any means. Uh, just don't sadly one of these days, one of these companies will listen one day obscure mics thanks for sitting through this one peace out yay